Hello and welcome to this episode of the DC Eric Show. On this episode, I'm going to show you guys DOSBox for Windows PC. Now, I won't be using the original DOSBox. What I'll be using is Taiwan's DOSBox, which comes with a bunch of graphical effects to make your games either look nicer or to represent them to look like they did in the 90s on a full CRT screen full of scan lines. That's right, the scan lines. Now, I know a lot of people don't like that look, but I do. It gives me that feeling of playing in the 90s. Yeah. So I'm going to show you guys that graphical effect and how to set it up and make DOSBox easy, easy for you to use. Now it might not be easy for everyone, but hey, DOS was never easy for anyone. In fact, I had to learn a lot. So this will show you guys how to use DOSBox for Windows PC. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your web browser and go to this address, yk-h-w-o-n-g-dot-x-hyphen-y-dot-net, and it'll bring you to Taiwan's DOSBox page. And of course, if you want to download DOSBox, we're just going to go to Download DOSBox FEN Builds. Alright, I'm going to wait until that loads, and all you have to do is click Installer Recommended. Alright, so now that you have finished your download, what you're going to want to do is click on the setup file. If it's not on, if you're not using Google Chrome, you'll have to find out where you saved your, your uh, setup file and then, of course, yes, from there, set it up. Alright, so once you get to this screen here, you're going to want to press Next. Press the I accept the agreement. Next again. Next and then save it to your C drive or any specific specific um, um, hard drive you're using or even folder for that matter and just press next of course I already have it set up so I'm just gonna leave it as this um, your setup should obviously finalize and we're gonna go on to the next step alright so for the next step we want to go to the DOSBox configuration file so click on your start button and go to DOSBox SVN DOM and open, run DOSBox configuration. Alright, so once we get here, now you're going to want to, well, you can set it to full screen or not. If you have it on false, it will be windowed. You put it on true, DOSBox will automatically open into full screen. Alright, so we're just going to scroll down here and Okay, down to the cycles menu here, and what you're going to want to do is put that to max. So your games will load faster and you'll be able to play them at their normal speed. Alright, so now just scroll all the way to the bottom here, and you'll want to. This is the auto exec, and what this does is it will tell DOSBox what to load when it opens. Now all we want to do is mount where your your DOS games folders are and um, your CD-ROM. So okay, I, I put my DOS games folder in the D drive and I mounted it as C. So you just type in mount C drive to DOS games and that'll mount the DOS games folder to the C drive and for the CD-ROM mine is the F drive and I want to mount it to the D drive for DOSBox so again mount D and then F and this special little configuration minus T CD-ROM this will now allow you to use your CD-ROM alright so next up we're gonna open DOSBox and see if you got your configuration right. So we're going to click the start button here and go to DOSBox and click on DOSBox FBN DOM. Alright, so now we're in full screen and we're not going to be using that for this video. Alright, so now that you have DOSBox open you're going to see that you have mounted your C drive um, from your DOS games folder and you have mounted your F drive CD-ROM to the D drive for DOSBox. So the next thing we want to do here to give it 
beautiful graphical effects and all that for your games. For example, again, the CRT screen, we're going to click on Video and go to Direct 3D Pixel Shader. And okay, so I want to use the CRT. Now there's a bunch of um, effects you can use for CRT. What we are going to use is the CRT D3D BR effects. And from what I believe BR stands for is bright, but I am not too sure. Anyways, just double click on that and it will come up with this prompt. Always enable this pixel shader under any circumstances in Direct 3D. Yeah, okay, just press yes. Now, of course, if you want to use this special effect at all times without having to go back at it every time, just click main up here and go to configuration and save the current settings. Of course, the new win a new window will come up again and just press OK and it will save over the regular configuration file and every time you open DOSBox you'll be able to see the same effects every time you open it up. Now of course you can add to the effects by going to Scalar and having it set to Hardware 2X or other effects you can use in there to add to your Direct 3D Pixel Shader. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to load your DOS games. So what you're going to want to do is open up your folder with all your DOS games in it. Okay, so I'm going to click to start this PC and of course I told you earlier I put mine on the D drive. Now you can have yours in a different folder or or anywhere for that matter. So I'm going to open the DOS games folder and here is all my games. Now I'm going to open DOSBox and go to DOSBox SVM DOM and of course full screen opens on, opened up so I want to go back to window mode using the alt and enter keys on the keyboard okay so here is my DOS games folder and here is DOSBox so what you're going to want to do of course is use your mounted drive on DOSBox and that will automatically get us to the DOS games folder on Windows okay so what you're going to want to do to make sure you mounted it properly is type in DIR and if you see some of the folders that look exactly like the ones in your in your DOS games folder then you've done everything correct okay so the next thing we want to do here is open up a game so I'm going to type in CD backslash across and um, to load the game I'm going to type in DIR and there we go across EXE is at the top and you don't have to type in the full thing just the name of the game and press enter and there you go your game has opened up of course this is a pretty fun game here this is a uh, kinda like Trials Evolution and was released sometime in the 90s and if you would like to get this search around the web I don't know where to get it I got it on some sort of disk anyways let's exit this game here <coughs> and there you go now the reason why it's good to have your DOS games folder open at the side is because when you go back to the normal C drive sorry CD backslash there um, if you type in DIR you obviously don't see all your folders so like if there's a specific game you want to play you're going to want to have your DOS games folder open to the side of DOSBox and then you'll be able to know what folder and game you want to play. Alright, so I've shown you the basic steps on how to set up DOSBox for Windows PC. There's other minor things that you're going to want to set up along the way, but these are the things that you need to know on how to set up DOSBox. So you can play your games anytime you want without going through the fuss of figuring out how. Well, of course, that's what brought you here anyways. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you come back to see another episode of the DC Eric Show.